Hello, I'm David Rose, and thanks for stopping by for this Washington's Most Wanted update in partnership with Crime Stoppers. I'm going to share some of the most important cases we have for you featured on the show this weekend, and the full show will air later tonight. But let's start with the search for an armed and dangerous duo. These guys must be pretty desperate. They've robbed two paint stores and a restaurant so far. Now watch as they pretend to be picking out paint before pulling off this heist. He said, it so, it, what they got right here is what they got. I think they didn't have anything else that has a special order. Surveillance video from March 8th at about 6.43 p.m. shows the two suspects inside the Sherwin-Williams store in downtown Renton. And they actually pick out some painting products. And then as the clerk goes to ring them up, the short guy forces a second employee at gunpoint to come to the register. And he also corrals a customer who was just there shopping in the store. Well, they stole the cash out of the registers and then they took off. Four days later, there was another robbery. On March 12th, we had what it looks like to be uh, uh, one of those two same guys coming to a restaurant on 108th Avenue Southeast. Uh, they walked right in. There were customers in the restaurant. They went around behind the, the counter, pulled out a gun, uh, robbed the employees of the money in the till right in front of the customers and left. Uh, since that time, we found out that Kent PD had a robbery at a paint store back on February 18th. And it, it, it uh, seems from the descriptions, it's probably the same guys that robbed our paint store as well. Well, Renton police say the taller suspect is white, 25 to 35 years old, 5'10 to 6 feet tall, 200 pounds, and he's wearing a blue-gray hoodie with Amazon on the front and a face mask. The short suspect is possibly Hispanic, 25 to 35 years old, 5'4 to 5'5, 140 to 160 pounds, and he was wearing black clothing and a gray beanie with a bill and a face mask. In all three cases, we had customers in the store, both the two Renton cases and the Kent case. Uh, the people came in, they brandished weapons, they didn't care if there were uh, witnesses, they just did their business and left. So that, that's, that's unusual behavior and we are worried about that. If you can identify either suspect, Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound will pay you a cash reward of up to $1,000 and you will remain anonymous. You can text tips through the P3 Tips app that you can download to your cell phone for free or you can call 1-800-222-TIPS. A woman with a history of driving drunk and on drugs is wanted in King County tonight. Michelle Dalby is not supposed to be anywhere near the wheel of a vehicle. But King County Sheriff's detectives say she has a defiant past of driving illegally. Police are very concerned she may hurt someone or even kill herself or someone else by driving recklessly. The court has issued a $100,000 warrant for her arrest for violation of an ignition interlock and for trying to run from police when officers attempted to pull her over last July. Sometimes two things just don't go together, and that's Michelle and anything with an engine. She has racked up nine failure to appears in 2018, was convicted of vehicular assault after a DUI collision with a motorcyclist. Today's case that we're talking about stems from an incident on July 22nd in Renton. Officers down there did a great job. They spotted her driving the wrong way in uh, downtown streets of their city. A pursuit ensued and only ended after a pit maneuver where they were able to get her in custody. Uh, the courts at that time had said uh, her license was revoked in the second degree. She was required to drive with an ignition interlock that wasn't in the car. Uh, she again has failed to appear. Now the courts have uh, issued a warrant for her arrest. Michelle Dalby is 45 years old. She is known to use the fake last name of Marr. She could be in the Star Lake area of Federal Way. So if you spot her behind the wheel, steer clear and call 911. If you can tell detectives where to find her, submit a tip to Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound. It's anonymous. You will receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if you can tell detectives where she's hiding. Call 1-800-222-TIPS or text your tip through the P3 Tips app. Bellevue police are asking for your help tonight to identify a pair of armed robbers who terrorized two workers and two customers at a marijuana shop. Watch this chaos. The first suspect, armed with an assault rifle, rushes into Green Theory on 124th Avenue Northeast. This was back on November 7th. The two workers behind the counter hit the floor with their heads down and their hands up. At the same time, a customer races for the door and even trips and scrambles outside. He runs right into a second suspect who's acting as a lookout guarding another customer who he robbed. That second suspect enters the store and starts stuffing product into a bag while the other suspect cleans out the cash register before both of them ran out to a car.
the vehicle that they left in was a 2018 to 2019 Hyundai Elantra vehicle. And so that's what they were seen driving away in. One suspect is wearing a black ski mask, black pants that has Nike writing on it and it's in white. And he's also wearing black Nike slides. The second suspect is wearing a uh, hoodie, black hoodie and a um, COVID black mask. And, but what's particular about him is that he is wearing Nike Air Jordan 20 Woodland Edition hiking boots, and those are very specific. So we are hoping that the viewers can help us out on finding these people so that we can stop this before somebody gets hurt. So if you can identify either of these suspects for Bellevue Police, you will remain anonymous when you submit a tip to Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound through the P3 Tips app on your cell phone. You can even send pictures to that app. Or you can call the hotline 1-800-222-TIPS. You will receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if your tip leads to the arrest of either suspect. Tonight, Bainbridge Island Police have a plea for a young car prowl suspect to do the right thing. Come talk to them before he gets hurt. They say he's the same suspect who's been caught on camera prowling vehicles at two different homes recently. And they really want you to look at him and his big puffy hair to see if you know who he is. This video is from February 2nd. You see the guy prowling a Ford truck parked in the victim's driveway. This was in the Fern Cliff area south of High School Road. Now a second video shows a suspect looking through vehicles in the Buckskin Lane area off Baker Hill Road. Detectives say he's young and on a very dangerous path right now. My fear as a detective and as a father is when these juveniles commit these crimes that they don't think of the consequences down the road if they get into the wrong car or they start breaking into the wrong house because there are people out there that will take defensive measures and defend their property and they don't know that this is a young kid and I don't want to see this kid get hurt because someone else is in fear of their life and property. Just if you're watching this and you know who you are, come in, talk to myself or the other detective that works here, and, and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Well, hopefully he does take this opportunity to surrender and start a new chapter in his life. If not, you'll come in here because I know one of you watching tonight will know who this guy is. He'll have to get on the right path because he'll get arrested. So if you know his name, submit a tip through the P3 Tips app on your cell phone or call 1-800-222-TIPS. All you have to do is give up his identity and you will be paid a cash reward of up to $1,000. We got a lot of good news for you tonight and it's all thanks to you. A whole slew of captures, starting with the arrest of a man suspected of sparking an Amber Alert in Renton last month. Detectives on the Puget Sound Auto Theft Task Force spotted Carlos Coto in a stolen car in Tukwila on Tuesday, and they called for assistance from the Washington State Patrol to set up containment. Well, Coto tried to escape on foot, but troopers caught him and took him into custody. Renton Police and Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound have confirmed that a tip from a Washington's Most Wanted viewer helped detectives initially identify Coto and provided links to his social media that they did not have. Some of the tips we received, we only would have received through Washington's Most Wanted, so we're definitely appreciative of that. And because of that, we have a tipster that's going to receive up to $1,000. Cotto is accused of stealing a car with a five-year-old girl inside. She was found safe in the car about an hour and a half later after it was abandoned in SeaTac. Cotto was also wanted for robbery in the first degree in Kent after police say he stabbed a man in the neck and stole his cell phone in January. He's being held without bail in the King County Jail. The King County Sheriff's Office says a Washington's most wanted viewer tip to Crime Stoppers of Puget Sound led to the arrest of Sayed Komizi Wednesday. He was in the parking lot of an apartment complex driving his mom's car on Northeast 43rd place in the North Bellevue area. The tipster was able to get a hold of the folks there at Crime Stoppers. They were able to immediately relay that, that information to me. I shared it uh, with our detectives, one of whom is out of town on another extradition. He connected with his partners here locally, and with just a few phone calls and texts, there was a team that was able to go up there and make that arrest. It all started with a quality tipster uh, who responded uh, again to the, to the show that we were able to air, and the, really the Crime Stoppers network. Detectives say Comizi has continuously threatened to kill a woman. He was charged with rape, extortion, and felony harassment. He's being held in the King County Jail on a quarter million dollars bail. Well, you know seatbelts save lives, but they also can keep you from getting pulled over. 
Well, Heather Gray was not wearing a seatbelt when she was riding as a passenger in a car. She was wanted on seven warrants after cutting off her GPS tracking bracelet. Well, Gray was spotted by Milton police and they pulled over the car that she was riding in. She lied about her name to two recently hired Milton police officers. So they used the portable fingerprint scanner. Well, realizing she was busted, Gray then climbs across the car and out the driver's side window and takes off on foot. Well, unfortunately for her, the officer is a very fast officer, and she was quickly caught, booked into the King County Jail. She's being held on $350,000 bail. The driver of the car was cooperative and was not arrested. And thanks to you, a wanted felon accused of breaking into his ex-girlfriend's home while she was gone and then attacking her when she returned is caught. Bellevue Police and King County Sheriff's Detectives arrested Fernando Gastelum last week. Detectives received a Washington's Most Wanted Viewer tip that was submitted to Crime Stoppers Puget Sound that led to Gastelum's location at a hotel in the south end of Bellevue. SWAT and a canine unit responded and spotted him in the 3200 block of 158th Avenue Southeast. We also had information that he likes fleeing from the police. So when our detectives went to arrest this gentleman, um, he did indeed flee. And so we deployed our canine ghost who caught this guy. We just really want to thank the viewers of Washington's Most Wanted and Crime Stoppers to helping us get this guy off the streets. And good job to canine ghost. Gastelum had several warrants for his arrest. He's currently being held in the King County Jail on $125,000 bail. So those arrests bring the total number of fugitives that you have helped catch to 1,205. So we are on a hot streak right now, and I hope it continues. Thank you. Please join me for the full show tonight at 11 o'clock on Q13 Fox. If you miss it tonight, set your recorder or tune in Saturday night, 930 on Joe TV, 1030 on Q13 Fox, and 1030 on Fox TV stations in Spokane, Yakima, and the Tri-Cities. And together, let's make sure these criminals continue to know there is nowhere left to hide.